Okay, let's go back in to Crescent Isle. We're back and the hall seems to be in one piece. Of course it's in one piece, a little one. I guess isn't gonna hurt it one bit. She had the advice about the book from Yafatoma. I built an engine for you using the plans in that book. Until now you haven't been able to fly th above or below the cows because of pressure. Differences were too hard on your engine. But now there's not a problem. You'll be able to fly over mountains and beneath large islands. You'll be flying all over the damn place. Yeah. Really, that's great. When can you install it? I'll install it tomorrow morning at Krakadon. With the new engine, we'll be able to travel more places than ever before. Alright, I'll run to the meeting room and we'll decide where to go next. Alright, head to the meeting room. Trying to see if there's like a lot of shit to do. Um, so as you can see the place got upgraded a little bit. did the living quarters with Kirala, I think, and Ismael did the other one. Alright, we got the purple crystal and all that's left in yellow and silver. Silver elders already have a silver crystal, so we all we need to really go is the yellow crystal. Looks like our mission is almost finished. But wait, wasn't the yellow crystal located in the Mall of Tartus in Valio? The last time we went there we couldn't get because the opening was sealed. The Valiants have made several unsuccessful attempts to removing the seal. But perhaps we might be able to pass through the seal with the Delphinus new engine. Why? According to the geologists of the Valiant Empire. Oh, I see. The lower layers of Valiant's islands are filled with cracks and fissures. In other words, there is a whole system of subterranean tunnels running through Valua. So all we have to do is fly through the underneath Valua and look for an opening. I see, in other words, we can't get in from the top and try to get in from the bottom. We'll fly back below Valua and look for an opening underneath the island. Once we get inside the tunnels, we should be able to find the crystal. Since we can fly higher and lower than ever have before, we might be able to take advantage of it. Exactly, let's rest up today. We'll leave for value first thing tomorrow morning. No, we won't, because we're going to actually do some other shit. Yeah, fuck, there's a lot. His dad is on there. So yeah, you can see it looks more like a... Um, Asian kind of look. I hope that's not racist. Taverns, kind of this. I don't know. Give me a thousand gold share right now. Other shops need upgrading. Okay, none of the shops need upgrading. Oh, there's bottom there. Check those out. See if Kazim has any new guns. It's Lawrence. Shit. Thing. 
So now we can fly fucking high as shit. And blow. So we wanna see. Just flying above the clouds. There are no random battles here, so we might do traveling. Or, well, we, we are going to do the traveling through the high and lower areas. But first, we're going to do a lot of discoveries. We might actually make this into two parts, just because we're allowed to find all the rest of the discoveries now. So this is similar to the Will-O-Wisp. Mention what? Natural phenomenon that can be seen underneath the Valiant continent is said that caused by electricity from the Alien Stone. The Valiant soil, some say that it's caused by a giant creature that lies deep inside the ground. Don't know. Um. And you can head northwest into this in this little cave to progress the story, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go back to Iceland, Land of Ice. Okay, we're at the Land of Ice. Ruins, I guess. We went in from the bottom. Grab the chest. Moonberry. Oh, and there's another moonfish behind you. Can you spot the different oh, there it is. Fuck. Got it. Back onto the Dolphinus. Turn. I'm gonna fly to an island in Upper Sky 8-2. I think I actually passed it. Okay, we're at the fucking place 8-2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you'll see this looking shady looking place. Side grab Sham 27. Ilchemist, Ilchemist. I expected to get visitors made out here. I expected to get visitors way out here. My name is Ilchemist. <laughs> come to this island further in my studies of various medicine. You're on this island alone to study? Quite strange. Probably right. I've been called strange ever since I was a child. I was always asking questions why does water float when it freezes? Why does the sky blue? But that calls to my mind another question what brings you to this island? Would you like to join my crew? I am no doctor, I'm a chemist. I study medicine and such. I'm very happy that you would like me to take me, but I'm sorry I cannot travel with you. Um. If you have learned the silver magic of wisdom, you will join your crew. Well, fuck. I mean, Fina knows it. Thank you. 
found a ghost ship. An unnamed, unmanned ship that continues to wander the skies. Many, many sailors tell of a ghost ship that appeared suddenly in the fog, from the fog. Some claim that it was once the ship of the great air pirate the cut, but no evidence is found to support it. Here's the island, pretty much directly over the center of the dark raft. Let me find the Hamachos. Um, find Sham, amongst the jars. Sham. If you want, you can talk to this guy about your your standards. Quiet, Trev, what do you think? Blah, blah, blah. Who's this old guy? I don't know how much you heard me. Trip. Trying to scare him a Very nice. Reading privacies. I like treasure hunting. There's a lot of treasure chests to discover rate. No, it would be 85%. Well, that's pretty average. It's okay. I don't care too much. So he just tells you about your stats. That's it. Um, what time is it? Twenty-two. Uh, let's stop. Okay, so we have not much time, but we'll fucking look for discoveries. First, we'll head to the north, our, um, whatever island, Iceland, land of ice. There's one right here. Of course, we couldn't. We tried to get it, but we couldn't. Southern Cross. Mysterious cross shaped island. The building that sits atop it is said to be a remnant of the purple civilization. Legend says that the long arm and the cross point, to point towards the location of the civilization, but no one has ever confirmed it. We could confirm it, but that would waste time. Next, Rainbow Island 11.5. Go up. And then, what we're going to do is go south, a little bit east. The, where the lights are. I'll just spam the A button. It's on Rainbow Island. What lies at the end of the rainbow? It's a question everyone asks when they are young. But as they grow older, it is often forgotten. Perhaps only a few who remember can find the legendary island at the end of the rainbow. I mean, oh. Of course, you can reread it next to it. That's that. A satellite. Iron Star. A strange object to be s launched by the ancient civilization of the Red Moon. The purpose has been long forgotten, but the legend says it's the eye that can see the entire world. Even now, sailors navigate by its rhythmic, rhythmic flashing light. So we often pass this to wonder what the fuck it was. It's right above Nasir. Well, not literally, but. It goes a lot. Skytrain. While a race car of a similar nature currently exists in Valua, 
This flying train is believed to have once carried passengers between the lands of red, green, purple, and green and purple moons, although no passengers aboard. Board. The sky train carries on. Fuck you. Look how fast it goes. Uh, we're in the southern ocean. I think I got lucky because that one like, carries from, you know, again, red, green, and blue, so there's a huge chance you'll miss it. Alright, resume. And we have Moonstone Lake. A naturally rare sight. A truly rare sight. A waterfall that runs through the veins of the Moonstone. The water plunges from above to carry away bits of Moonstone. And it is said to have a mystic attributes. It is believed that those who drink enjoy a long life. So wherever this lake is. This waterfall randomly right here. right there. species that predates the Ixitakan civilization. The Lupas live quietly in the forest. Their calm, pretty, proud demeanor has earned them the sages of the forest. They are also known as choosing their mates for life. Look like baboons. I'm not done with this area yet. once flourished in its land under the green moon. The observatory built on the Ixitakan Plateau speaks of their advanced study in astronomy, but they could not, do not, but watch as the shower of moonstone destroyed their culture. So it's over here, just northwest of that island with the Alupas, or south of the Brixis. Okay, just south of that island over there is a mother tree. The tree is revered by the Yafatomans. In one of their ancient scriptures, it is said that he who climbs the top of this tree will someday conquer the world. The tree is 2,000 years old to this day, and no one has ever made it to the top. Okay, that's one. There's also Ryugu Island somewhere around here. Okay, we're at Tenko Island. Southeast of here. This family button as we go along. The invisible fucking bullshit. Discovery. Here you go, island. And so the turtle brought the old man to an island to, of great beauty, where the beautiful princess Otto awaited. They laughed and ate and danced for days. When the turtle finally brought the old man home, 300 years past. How far west of the mother tree is it? A fair distance. Alright, that's that. Okay, just north of Maramba, around this sector, I guess. There's gonna be fucking butterflies. They're moving. What you want to do is stay within this quadrant and hope you pass it. And we'll cut in when we see it. <laughs> 